over in Israel, calls for Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to resign are intensifying, with around 100,000 Israelis protesting against their leader in Jerusalem on Sunday. Lee seung has more. Weekend protests against Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and his government grew even more on Sunday, with the Times of Israel reporting that around 100,000 Israelis rallied in front of the parliament. Protesters expressed their anger at the government for its prolonged war in Gaza without being able to eradicate Hamas or bring back the hostages taken by the militant group. The protesters also expressed anger towards the government's support of exempting ultra-Orthodox Jewish youth from military service. Others criticized the fact that the prime minister's son has not been in the country since the start of the Gaza conflict. So what I'm doing here is trying to change the government because this government is a complete and utter failure and the only way they will lead us into the abyss that we will never come out of. Protesters called for an early general election to remove Netanyahu from office. However, the Israeli prime minister argued, saying that if a general election were held now during the war, hostage negotiations with the government would be paralyzed for six to eight months. Opposition leader and former prime minister Yair Lapid said that an early general election would not paralyze the government, arguing that Israel has already been paralyzed due to the ongoing war with Hamas and the lack of hostage negotiations. Sunday's massive gathering followed protests involving tens of thousands of Israelis from cities across the country on Saturday, leaving Netanyahu to grapple with one of the most serious threats yet to his coalition. Lee Seung-jae, Arirang News.